Bob Art version 23 unleashes the artist within. Work with image-based files your customers provide or download images right off the internet. Using our raster to vector and image tracing tools, you can convert these images to 2D machinable wireframe from which you can create ornate engravings, signs, plaques, carvings, logos, and more. Raster to vector will allow you to take these image based files and convert them automatically to 2D wireframe. Image tracing gives you even more control when working with more complicated profiles or images that have lower resolutions. Embossing gives your model depth. You can control the cross section of the embossment, add or subtract or merging options, which allows you to build up the model to create the design of your imagination. Photo embossing creates 3D models with depths and curves directly from photos. Great for shadow boxes and litho panes. Texturing, you can add a wood grain, sandy texture to specific areas of your design. You're only limited by the image you choose for that texture. Anything from a city skyline to a portrait can be used for texturing. V-carve engraving creates that old English hand-carved sign, you know, the one your customer is so sought after. With these tools and the endless imagination of the average guy, there's no limit to what you can create. Here we have a Bob Art example already in progress. What you see in the layer manager is layers with different aspects of the model. We'll use these layers and the geometry they include to add and subtract from the model to build it up to create the result we're looking for. The first step that we would have would be to create the stock. Now that we have the stock created, the next thing that we want to do is load an embossment. You can see we have a number of embossment types that we can choose from. In this example, we're going to choose a regular embossment. From here, we can control the color of the embossment, which helps with contrast. We can choose the cross section that we're going to use. In this case, it's going to be a line that's an inch and a half width in height and an 85 degree angle, and we're going to add this to the model. Here we can see we use the outside profile to emboss up and now you can see our part has some depth to it. The next thing we'll do is take the the inside profile and we'll cut away from that shape. Using these basic concepts, you can add and subtract from the model to create the desired result. In this case, we're going to work on the paintbrush. Here we have the profile of the paintbrush. What we want to do is load in an embossment. We'll choose regular. We're going to choose our cross section, which is going to be a spline. We're going to move this over. Uh, let's see, right about here. I'll move it up just a little bit. We'll pick our color. We're going to add to the model. We'll select our boundary and then we'll regenerate our model. Using these simple steps we can add and subtract from the model step by step working through our different 2D boundaries to create very complicated 3D plaques, signs, logos, engravings, and more. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson on Bob Art version 23, and if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you.